Hi, this is JJ at CCBC. In this video, we'll look at the free transform tool in Flash. Major topics we'll cover are scaling, skewing, and rotating. The software I'm using in this video is Adobe Flash Creative Suite version 6 on a Mac. So let's take a look at this. Here I have a Flash file open and an interesting shape to work with. Um, before I can work with it, I have to have it selected. So I'll double click my shape to select both the stroke and fill. And then I'll use the free transform tool in order to make some basic transformations. All right, so by selecting the free transform tool, you'll notice it puts a bounding box around the shape with anchor points in all four corners, as well as on the middle of each side. So the first thing we can do with this shape is we can scale it. Now you can scale it horizontally, vertically, or both. Um, so to scale on the horizontal axis, just grab one of the middle side anchors, click and drag and it'll scale in that direction. I'm going to undo that. Or do the opposite side. Same effect. To scale vertically, grab the top or bottom. Same effect. So I'll undo that. Now you can also grab the corner, which will allow you to scale both vertically and horizontally at the same time. Now the problem with this is you can really distort your image. One trick you may want to know is if you hold down the shift key, it constrains the proportions. It keeps the aspect ratio, the height and the width the same. So no matter where you move, you're not distorting your object, but you are scaling it equally on the horizontal axis and the vertical axis. All right, so we'll undo that. And that's how you can scale your object. The next thing you might want to do with your object is to skew it. So to skew the object, all you need to do is touch one of the sides between the two anchor points. So you'll notice I get a, an interesting new icon for my cursor. If I click and drag, I can skew horizontally. I can undo that. Or I can skew vertically. Right, so whichever side you grab, that's the side that's going to do the skewing, right, which has a, a pretty interesting effect as well. So I'm going to undo that. So that's how you can skew your object. You can also rotate your object. So if you put your cursor right by the corner, you notice you get that sort of rounded arrow icon. And if I click and drag, it allows me to rotate my object. If I hold down shift, I believe it snaps into 45 degree, yes, 45 degree section. So if you just want to do a quick 90 degree rotation, you can use shift to achieve that. I'll undo that. Now sometimes uh, you may want to rotate around corners or other parts of the object. This is your rotation point, this anchor point. So if I grab it and move it over to the corner here, and then I go to the opposite corner and hit rotate, that's where it's going to rotate around. Okay, so that's important to note. Another technique you can use is that anchor point doesn't have to be on the object. So you can move it off of the object and have it rotate around an external point as you see fit. That comes in pretty useful when you're doing animations later. So wherever I move this anchor point is that's the point that my object is going to rotate around. Um, so that's the basics of the free transformation tool that allow you to scale, rotate, and skew your object. One last transformation that's very common is basically flipping the object either vertically or horizontally. Um, so to do that you can go to modify, transform, and here's a lot of your options right in here, simple rotations, or you can just flip it ver vertically or horizontally. So if I say flip horizontal, you notice now it's been uh, flipped horizontally. Um, you can also do that by just grabbing one side and dragging that way. Um, but you may not get the exact same sized object doing it by hand, so I'll undo that. You notice it was a little bit wider than originally the original object, um, so it's easier to just go into the transform menu and flip it horizontally again. And now you've made that transformation rather than trying to do it by hand. So that's the free transform tool. I hope you learned something. See you in the next video.